As an architect who is more of a designer, they're going to be involved early on in the design process. That means they're going to be coming up with those initial concepts and developing the design. So they'll be doing programming and planning, coming up with different schemes and options, as well as doing environmental analysis, creating graphics, as well as going out competing and winning projects. An architect who is more technically inclined will typically be involved once that design has been developed and they are making the construction documents. So they will verify the construction details as well as write specifications and they will verify all the systems that will be used and make sure that all the building elements and systems are going to work together and make sense. While the project manager might be involved in some of those design decisions as well as some of the technical aspects of the project, their primary goal is coordinating the entire team, making sure that all the information is correct, complete, and on time. So they will be coordinating with the clients, with the consultants, as well as with the design team. Then there is more of the research side of things, and this could mean a lot of things. Uh, sometimes there's dedicated staff for these types of positions, and sometimes it's something that any architect would do throughout any given day. So these typically tend to be more specialized areas. Maybe it's a sustainability expert. Maybe they're researching standards for the firm to use, developing graphic standards, or even developing uh, technology standards. Keep in mind that with these roles, it really depends on the firm size. So if you have a small firm, you might have an architect that does all these roles. While if you have a really big firm, you're gonna have more and more specialization. I say this because even in a large firm, an architect takes on a lot of roles and has to manage a lot of aspects uh, to any given project. And they're typically working on pretty tight deadlines uh, with pretty narrow uh, budget constraints. With all these aspects that architects are responsible for, sometimes there's not even that much time for design, let alone doing sustainability, energy modeling, or environmental analysis. So this allows for that narrow window of design that an architect has to make key decisions. They are now more informed and can run those analysis really quickly and easily without that much effort. So this is a key advantage to using uh, these types of technologies.